I'm Sniper Lose and I turned 5K to 45. I started trading 2017 back in Tallahassee when me and Mateo were trading Forex. Uh, we started trading currencies. Really, that's where we learned how to read charts. So when did you start in the actual stock market? When I took the job in Charlotte, where I got my Series 7, my Series 66. I was a phone broker, basically. Watching listed stocks all day, dipping my toes here and there, placing trade here and there. Created your own strategy that way? Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't say I, I really had a strategy. I just kind of felt more like, well, you know, I like this company. I like what they got going on but never really set strategy. And why, in general, like, why did you end up saying, because I know you actually did come to the office and you showed up, but why did you end up just coming to the office? Like, why you were like, let's give the stock snipers a shot. Like, I should just actually give them a shot. Trading listed stocks, uh, it was like a couple of years where it was up and downs. So I would win some and then I would lose a lot. It was frustrating not finding that consistency. Uh, obviously, I know you guys and I saw you guys profiting. As a broker, they always, like the OTC markets were like taboo when we stayed away from that mm -hmm. stuff. So what, what would you say changed when you found us compared to the listed stock? What changed was my trading psychology, basically. Back to where I was just kind of trading on gut feeling and like, what's the mood? What stock did I like? It was like, oh wow, you can actually create a plan when trading with you guys, there was a plan, like uh, there were certain patterns we followed. Once you learn how to read the tape, how to read the level twos, and the OTC stocks, then I mean, that just kind of takes you to the next level, honestly. What, what do you like about OTC stocks compared to listed stocks? Well, like, I mean, like I, I said earlier, yeah. reading the tape. I mean, it's, it's way different when you're looking at a level twos on a listed stock when you than when you're looking at the level twos in an OTC stock. It's uh, much more clear, much more easier to follow than you know having to deal with all the algos in the listed stocks. How would you like Sniper U? I love Sniper U. Big fan of Sniper U. Taught me everything I need to know about the OTC stocks. Honestly, it was just a great foundation. What's your favorite part? My favorite part were the level twos. Nah. Honestly, that's what kind of changed the game for me. That's where I started finding consistencies and really just knowing how to actively trade the stock. All right, and then would you recommend Sniper U to someone else? I would definitely recommend Sniper U to anyone else. Nice. Anyone trying to learn the basics, the fundamentals of real plan that works 100%. What do you find most useful about the stock snipers in general? Sniper Mike, obviously. <laughs> I mean, the guys, there's no teacher out there that's a, more accessible than Sniper Mike. Just say anything you want right in the chat at any given day. Sniper Mike's gonna be there. Do you enjoy the chat room? I love the chat room. Yeah. What do you like about it? First and foremost, I love the OGs in the chat room. The ones that are always there, you know which ones I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, Sniper Don, El Chamo, Sniper Christina, you know, Sauce Boy, my boy. It's a, it's a great community and everyone's very open. You know, everyone's uh, very helpful and everyone's very supportive. Yeah. You, know? you enjoy the sniper scope and then what do you like about it? Love the sniper scope because even if you're having a busy day, you can come up, open the chat, turn to the sniper scope at three o'clock. Really the only times you want to be looking for a trade anyway. And you got five stocks there, at least five stocks most days that you know that's got some potential, even if you haven't had the time to kind of keep up with it, because you can trust that boy sniper Mike <laughs> has been watching that stock all day, like glued to that screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you enjoy the morning watch list? Or do you read them? What do you like I do them? read the morning watch list, actually. Nice. I'm a big fan of the morning watch list. I read them as soon as I get up. Well, I mean, honestly, I read the Wall Street Journal as soon as I get up. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're into that. <laughs> yeah just kind of the morning watch list is one of those tools I use in the morning to prepare for the, the trading day. So super helpful. Do you like the webinars? I love the webinar. Like I said, it goes back to accessibility of your mentor. There's a lot of groups out there where you can't even find the, the time for the mentor to speak to you. Mike makes himself available every single Wednesday, you know, day in and day out, week in, week out, because I mean, it could be a bad week, it could be a good week, but he's just gonna walk you through, you know, his process, his week. And so it's always helpful um, to see another trader kind of go through the grind, you know, having a group to go through the grind with, <laughs> it's it's invaluable. Did you, did you enjoy the trade with 
I mean, I had the unique experience of being with yeah. the snipers like day in, day out, every single day from market open to market close. I mean, I kind of I saw the trades happen in real time. But yeah, the trade reviews are always good for anybody just wanting to pick the snipers brains. Uh, know exactly what their thought process is. And I think Mike and everyone else does a great job at just kind of explaining their thought process through the trade. How much did you start with? I started back January last year with $5,000 in a brokerage account. Where are you at now? It's kind of I'm at 45,000. Yeah, yeah. 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 you can yeah. share there.